Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday and here I'm with another uh, random review and also another Lego Spongebob review and this one's on the Bikini Bomb Express from 2007 or 8. Yeah, 2008. So on the front of the manual have a picture of everything that going on in show version of Spongebob and different style Spongebob logo and the old style Nickelodeon logo, well, Splat logo, nice to see there, and the Lego logo, and also set number 3A30, and on the back is how to win on the online survey, then application and ad for Lego Club, and then advertisement for the Zanny's Rocket set, and then another picture of this set, and the features and then all the pieces that come with the set, of course. So, and then the last building steps. And so now, on to the fittings. So first of all, we have Spongebob and Patrick, same ones that come in quite a few other sets as well, but Face prints also the same in other sets, but the only one that's exclusive is the uh, bus driver set, which, as for the torso printing, which is one that you can definitely use in, on some custom figs in Lego City sets. And same with the cap piece, same with that we've seen for a long time, and whereas the fish head piece, which did come on a few other uh, fish character figs in the line, but however, this color piece which is in uh, lime green with a pink fin all exclusive to that also the uh, kind of angry face printing still but done quite well for that and back sides of them are just not at all in the back torso printing for all of these and I guess that's about it for that and also if this set were made now I think probably have the same through these three figs but also one extra one a figure which probably like the hash slinging slasher or something. Well, anything or some or anything. But yeah. And that's about it for that. The first off of the side builds is just this quite simple one that is just with the bus stop sign. Like as you see, it's just a four by four plate in tan, and also this uh, little. A uh, little kelpy kind of piece for that, and then also a traditional cylinder piece or cylinder pull piece going up to these odd curved slopes that both have a sticker with the bus on it to represent a bus stop sign, of course. And that's about it in there. And then on to this one, this other side build, which is just a ticket to a kiosk which is all resting on a, a 4x6 plate in tan as well and just bricks stacked on bricks and also with a couple of few panel pieces around it and also a little large white one that has a sign showing bus tickets in here and also have a little lever and a stud representing being like buttons on it and also have a couple of ones on this sticker bit but now the feature with that is, if you notice this tile sticking out, you can like pull it out and dispense a sticker. Although some of these, sometimes these uh, tile pieces represent used as stickers can kind of get clocked for that. But although you can also, or get caught on there, or like that, but although easy to reload and all but let's see that again so this was so you see quite well done feature for that so and also quite fun for that for one being quite small and simple there and then last of which is the king Ron express bus itself which, as you can see, quite a 
kind of an odd looking vehicle for that. But of course, anticipated from a show for that. And of course, with six wheels and so on. And of course, on the shape thing. So, like for the front part of which, which is just a large panel kind of piece, and also and a couple of uh, side snock bricks that have cylinders being the headlights. And then, and then as for this upper roof part, which is starting out with a few curved or jagged slopes, and then a couple of car hood piece or car hood piece and large uh, curved slopes again. But as you can see, a lot of orange in here. So kind of like the SpongeBob's Pineapple House, but where there's a lot of orange, but also red as well. Uh, although I think it should have been all orange for that. And then it can be all orange. But it's sort of like the uh, uh, Night Bus and Harry Potter lines kind of, kind of are with all purple. Then. And then also from the SpongeBob's Pineapple sets are the uh, clear tile pieces that have printings to represent porthole windows for that and the rest of which just bricks stacked on bricks with a couple of inverted jagged slopes in the back well since at this time it's kind of how most builds quite were like and I think it was probably like early mid 2010s when snot kind of took over and also forgot to mention is do have a few cylinder pieces and a tap piece with this cone piece and then on a clear a inverted brick on there to represent sort of a sort of a way to call a periscope for that. To do some and then for the back side of which are just a couple of large flaps like a fish's tail fin for that and also a a little propeller to propel it through the water. And of course the main highlight are these uh, large wheel pieces with the classic tire pieces but in white. Which can, so this you can definitely use on some racers, uh, speedways, and box and such. So kind of nice to see there. And also, and although the main feature of which with this is you can like pop the, pop the roof part off and have a couple of tiles and a few uh, plates that do so. And then like the front part of which you know, like the front part here which does have a little steering wheel piece and also an, enough space to like sit all three figs in this set. But unfortunately unlike how in the show where there was a lot of seats uh, sit a lot of fishlings or fishes in there. It also would be nice if there was an extra door to, to come on board to it. Well, maybe if this were remade nowadays, I would expect there to be that. And also would be nice if there was a hanging bracket on here to represent a G-force effect to it, like in the episode Rock Bottom. So now on to oh, whoops. And so now on to the final verdict. Okay, so for the final verdict is overall I think this is which a quite good set for how it is. Even though there's but of course like having one exclusive fig being the bus driver fish. And also, kind of an interesting build that we didn't get to see remade any more in the Spongebob line. Well, if the Spongebob line ever did come back for LEGO, I would think this would be one good inclusion to have around. And also, nice to have around just randomly in a mock or a city setup or whatever. And also, if also if done now, maybe instead Maybe also include like a random bench to do so. Also representing the episode Rock Bottom. And also 
maybe have a couple extra features like opening door and also a couple more seats in there and also maybe and also if this were made now maybe include an extra fig being the hash slinging slasher and such so of course so so this set as is still kind of good and for that despite not having extra bits to it but but whereas for the twenty dollars that it was back in 2008 i say still quite good regardless of inflation and all and, and yeah and so now if any of you still have this set from back in the day well i hope you had some good memories of it and then for those of you who haven't and are still looking to get this set i'd say definitely pick it up ebay bricklink mercari whatever and that's about it with this video please like comment share and subscribe thank you for watching